how to add access for your moderators to your stream elements page and how can you access a page from another streamer that you are moderator of. We're going to go to stream elements and we're going to log in on the streamers page. So when you're logged in, what you need to do is you need to click on your icon and then click on your name here and then channel settings. Right here, what you can do is you can add moderators. Um, you see some information about me, me, Trui, my email address, um, my account ID, my JWT token, I'm not sure what that is, and my overlay token. And here we can set our moderators. So for example, uh, Tony, Nim, Flying Dutchie and Tom are my moderators. Uh, Nim's got full control. Uh, the rest of them are just editors. What we can do is we can generate an invite link. So we can say invite a new manager. We can say a bot superior controls all bots and loyalty sections. If you click on here, you can see what they do. So they don't go in the account settings. They don't go in the team gallery, but they do song requests and these. We can do as editor. And if you click on this, we can see which other settings they can do. So activity feed dashboard, for example. With full control, they get full control of everything except for the account settings. So they can also have control over your tipping, for example. How do you make a new link? You just click on editor, for example, generate new link, boom, you'll get a link. The annoying part is that I have to blur everything out because there's a link there. There's a link there, but you can't see the link because otherwise, well, you, you can become an editor of my channel and I don't want that. On this page itself, you can also see channels you manage and you can see that I have full control. So I have the full control on, on Tom's channel. So I am only a moderator on Tom Phil Titter's channel. And now if I want to go to Tom's channel, what we can do is log in to your own stream elements. So if you are not a streamer, you do have a stream elements. You just log in with your Twitch. Okay. Just log in with your Twitch account. Then you click on your icon at the top right. You click on owner tree and you can see a list of people, a list of channels here that you have control over. It can be bot supervisor, it can be editor, or it can be full control like I have with Tom. You can click on Tom now, boom. And what we will see is we will see Tom's stats. Now it will say here in the top, moderating Tom Phil Titters. And if we want to go out to our own, we just click the cross again. What I can do now is I can go in the chat pod, for example, and chat commands, and I can go to custom commands and I can see um, the commands Tom has set in his bot. So I can change these commands if I want to. I can put more commands in here by adding new commands, just like you would do normally as a streamer. I do have videos on how to do commands, how to do timers. Stuff like that is in the playlist, in the stream elements playlist. So I'll leave that up here for you to check out. But the rest of this basically just works the same as if it was your own channel. And if you just click out of this, we click on the X, boom, it's going to load. And now I'm in, we can see my own icon here, my own picture. And we can see that now we are in uh, our own custom command. So it will stay on the same page, but it will become your own page if you click out of it. And that's how simple it is to add people as moderators in your stream elements, but also to go to a page that you're moderator of in stream elements and edit some things for them. If you want to see some more stream elements tutorials, I do have some here on the screen. Make sure to subscribe to not miss anything and I'll see you in one of the other videos.